Good evening, Buckeye Nation. I'm meteorologist Eric DeBroca, and here's a look at your Buckeye TV weather update for this Thursday, April 9th. Well, we have more rain across central Ohio. Actually, it's been four whole days since we've seen any significant amount of sunshine. Somebody actually asked me today if they should start building an arc. Not a bad idea. 67 degrees is our current temperature now. We do have winds that are gusting of the northwest at 22 miles per hour. We've picked up so far about a quarter of an inch of rainfall, but for the week since Monday, Columbus alone has picked up 1.6 inches of rain, other parts to our south well over two inches, and more to come before this system's all said and done. Your Buckeye radar looks like this. We have a batch of rain exiting the Cleveland area, but Columbus did dodge a bullet as some severe weather and even light hail just missed us and went southeast. But also, we're not the only ones dealing with this severe weather. That state up north as well has had a lot of rainfall today. And actually, from this national satellite, you can even depict where the low pressure is of its counterclockwise rotation right over central Iowa. Current temperatures across the country, 83 degrees in St. Louis, 70 degrees in Terre Haute, and we have 80 in Lexington. But check this out. 33 degrees in southern Nebraska, that is behind that cold front. Current dew points, this is absolutely critical when analyzing severe weather. We have dew points that are Amazon jungle-like, 64 degrees in central Illinois. So that is by far the greatest potential to see severe weather, even tornadoes, later on today. And the Storm Prediction Center has also outlined this entire area in red. Uh, more specifically though, I'm thinking just south of the Chicago area through lower portion of Illinois will be the prime risk for isolated tornadoes, damaging winds, and hail. Surface analysis, as I pointed out earlier, there's a low pressure system in Iowa, and it is just south of this warm front where we need to keep our eyes to the sky for any type of severe weather. For tonight now, we can expect a low of right around 57 degrees. Heavy rain and thunder will be likely. Yeah, we saw plenty of lightning last night in, in Columbus. Also, damaging winds and hail, not out of the question, as winds will be gusting over 30 miles per hour if you're in one of these squalls. So for tomorrow, the weather map will, will look like this. The large cold front will be east of Ohio. And finally, by tomorrow at this time, we should be all clear and done with the rain, setting up for a very nice weekend. But for tomorrow, we've got to get through some rainfall first. There will be some heavy rain and more flooding. Temperatures will start out in the upper 50s as we hit the lower 60s by the noon hour. But then the cold front comes in and we start dropping into the middle 50s for your Friday afternoon. Your five-day forecast now. So tomorrow we can expect another one to two inches of rainfall as we drop to a low of 43 degrees on Friday night. Saturday expect a high of 55 degrees, but a very chilly night of in the mid-30s. Sunday will be our weather pick of the weekend with a high of 64 degrees. And enjoy that one because more rain and storms are in your forecast as we head into next week. I'm Buckeye TV meteorologist Eric DeBroca. Thank you for watching.